Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing well. So today's video is a fun one. It's all about selling my clothes on Poshmark. So in today's video, I'm going to show you guys all of the goodies that I'm listing in my Poshmark store. I love using Poshmark because it is such an easy and like sustainable way to essentially recycle your clothes and get more life out of them. Um, today's video is actually a partnership with Poshmark. So thank you so much to them for working with me on this. I'm also going to be giving you some tips and tricks along the way of like a little behind the scenes of how I list my items, the little pieces of detail I'm looking for, and then as a seller or as a buyer, what you can do to make the whole experience work for you. You can use my link that's in the description box down below to download Poshmark both in the US and Canada and shop from all of the items that are in my closet as well as some of your other favorite brands out there as well too. Seriously, oftentimes if you have your eye on something elsewhere and it completely sells out, you can likely find it on Poshmark for a more, more affordable price. So without further ado, let me show you a couple of the goodies that I'll be listing. I'm kind of going to work in the tips randomly throughout this video as well too, just so it feels really natural and it makes the most sense to you guys. So first up, first item you'll see in my store are these leopard print booties. So these I got from Vici about a year ago. Typically I'm just like a standard eight across the board. So these are a size eight, but they run a little bit big in my opinion. They're pretty big on me, like almost a full size bigger. So if you wear a size nine or eight and a half and you're kind of in between, these will probably fit you, but I've never even worn them. I tried them on, I wore them around the house and I've never even worn them. The bottoms are like so clean. So that's a great thing about Poshmark. If you're looking to find new things for your closet, shoes or clothes, you can oftentimes find items that are still in excellent or brand new condition. I actually have a few things behind me that I'll be showing you that still have the tags on them. And you can see items that are labeled new with tags right from the posting listing. So you're able to see if things still have the tags, if they're brand new, what quality they are, what condition they're in. But so many of the items are brand new and it's so much less wasteful to resell this and have it go to a new home, somebody that can give it life versus just tossing it out or you know potentially not knowing what will happen to it. I would so much rather somebody be able to get use out of these and give life to them in a really sustainable way. Something I always do when I am posting pictures of my shoes too to increase the ability that they will sell or that somebody will be able to understand the quality of them is I take pictures of the bottoms of the soles too and also try and get pictures of the inside if it's a shoe that will allow you to do that because that will really show people how much they have or have not been worn as well. So speaking of items with, with tags still on them, the first clothes clothing item I have is this sweater tank top. This thing is perfect for that transitional season we're currently in where temperatures still might be pretty hot, but you're moving into fall. You want to dress like fall. So it's got the texture of a sweater. It's got the high neckline of a sweater, but it has a racer back style like your typical tank um, and will still give you a flu fluid, like comfortable fit and allow your arms to breathe a little bit, but with that fun, like fall-like texture. It's great quality, super thick, and again, the tags are still on it. I paid $24.99 from H&M for this tank, and I've never worn it. Um, it's a size small too, and I would say it runs true to size. Then next up is this dress also from Vici. If you're a Vici fan like I am, then you want to hit up Poshmark because they sell out of things so fast on Vici's website, but Poshmark has a lot of their items on there. So this dress I love as well. It's nursing friendly, which I know you guys are often looking for. Um, I have an upcoming like dressing and nursing friendly clothes for fall video that I'm planning out. So that will be to you guys soon. But in the meantime, this is a nursing friendly option that's short, really flat flirty, fun. Again, it's great for that transitional season. The front is pretty low, so you might want to do a bralette or something underneath it. And then the back is actually this open back style. This is so pretty. Um, and another thing I like to do when I'm listing items like this is that I actually take measurements of them. So at the very least, I like to measure from the shoulder all the way to the bottom of the hem, or if it's a skirt, you know, from the waist to the hem, an inseam for pants, things like that. Um, because the worst thing is when you're buying an item online and you don't know if it's gonna fit you properly. So if I'm selling some of my things, I wanna make sure that you guys are able to get a really good feel for whether or not the length will actually work for your frame. So I will have the length and the measurements that way in all of the description boxes of the items for you guys as well too. But love this one and like this kind of clay coral like color, especially going into fall. This skirt is from Lulu's and I absolutely love this. 
This is another great one for fall. It's a wrap skirt. So the great thing about wrap silhouettes, whether that's a skirt or a dress, is that you can really customize the fit for your body type. A wrap silhouette is flattering on all different body types, and this snake print is perfect for the fall season, and then it has this like really pretty feminine ruffle detailing here. It opens and it has two ties on the inside so that you can make sure it's closed completely, but it still gives you kind of like a little slit action up the side. I love this. I wore this with a chunky sweater and some booties for the fall, but you could also wear it easily with like a tank and sandals if you wanted to in the summertime too. So this one is a great one and I think I paid like 50 bucks or so for it from Lulu's. Speaking of Lulu's, I have this maxi dress. This is another nursing friendly option. This one's kind of springy, but you could totally make it work for fall. Again, it's that wrap silhouette, which is perfect for nursing friendly dresses. And then it has, again, the double tie. This one also is brand new with the tags on it. Never worn this one. It doesn't have the price on it, but I will have it marked at an affordable price for you guys. But while I'm talking about price, a couple tips if you are a buyer is that you can always bundle items. So you can add a couple different things to a bundle and make an offer or get a bundle price from the seller so you can get them at a cheaper price that way or just make an offer. Seller or buyer, one of the best parts of Poshmark for me is that you can kind of name your own price. Like sellers will list a price, but if you're searching and you find an item you love and maybe you want to make an offer for a lower price oftentimes sellers will accept that lower price and then you're getting the item for cheaper the seller is going ahead and getting it off their hands I know for me so many of these things I'm just looking to get out into the world and make room in my closet for more items so you know if you make an offer for something that's reasonable a lot of times you can snag what you're looking for at a lower price that way uh, but this one's great and it is totally open like it or it will totally open so you can easily nurse with it. Size small, I would say it runs true to size, but very, very stretchy too. Another item that's bump friendly that I will be listing is this jumpsuit. This is from Zara and I wore this when I was big and pregnant with Christian. I actually think I was like 35, 36 weeks when I wore it. So it will definitely stretch. I love a comfy jumpsuit when I'm pregnant and this like knit fabric is really, really soft and cozy. It's perfect for kind of that loungewear vibe that we are all feeling in 2020. It's got like a cropped style, but on me it's cropped. I'm about 5'7". On you it might be full length. So again, I'll have the measurement for it from shoulder to hem and then also the M seam of this. I'll have it in the description box. And then it's got this really pretty like ruffle detailing on it too. I love this one so much. I'm sad to see it go, but because it's not nursing friendly, I, I mean, it actually could be nursing friendly. You could easily like pull it to the side, but I just haven't worn it in a while. So want to give it new life, you know? Then another item that is again, nursing friendly as so much of my wardrobe is this button up is a Madewell top that also still has the tags on it. I've never worn this one. It's a pinstripe, this blue and white print, which would be great for springtime and you know, summertime with some white denim, but it's also perfect for fall with jeans and a cozy cardigan too. This is just a good staple. Like you cannot go wrong with the classic button up like this. This is something everybody needs in their wardrobe. Um, and it's got like sort of this looser tee style silhouette similar to the one I have on right now. Um, so you could do, you could kind of get like that modern, I don't know, like casual edgy vibe with this one as well too. This set is in a really pretty lilac color and I'm going to have both items listed together in one listing. I asked you guys which you would prefer either together or separate and so many of you said you would prefer the entire set Sell, sold together. So that's what I'm going to do. They're both size small and they're both new with tags. They still have the tags on them, never worn them. While I'm talking about these, I want to talk about taking pictures for selling items on Poshmark. Something I like to do is use a nail on the wall or some sort of hook to hang the item up like this on a blank surface. That way the picture is totally clean. There's no distracting background. You could also do this on the floor if you don't want to use a hook on the wall, but I like to use something on the wall so that you can kind of see how the item hangs on the hanger. I feel like that gives a better idea of how it might hang on a body but you could also lay things out on the floor and do the same thing, get the same effect. And then a tip I have if you are a seller is to take the pictures in your phone, like in your normal camera, take pictures, but with square mode. Poshmark actually only allows you to use square images. So the worst is when you take a picture and then you can't 
crop it to fit the Poshmark like little square as you're uploading or publishing the listing. So take your pictures in camera mode, in square, and that way also you can edit them if you need to. You could lighten it up, you could make the colors more saturated to look more like real life, because that way you can get them to look exactly the way you want to, and then you're able to just upload them in the app straight from your camera roll. So these were just a few of the things I'm gonna have listed, but I have so much to go through. I am just like in the mood to purge everything and start completely fresh for the season. And then my last tip for using Poshmark if you are selling is to go to the post office and get yourself some of the prepaid priority mail envelopes. Poshmark will provide you with a label, which is great if you're a seller. If you're a buyer, you can also negotiate sometimes and get free shipping from your sellers, um, dependent on what their listing looks like. But as a as a seller, it's awesome because you don't have to plan shipping, you don't have to create a label. As soon as your listing sells, Poshmark actually sends you a label, so it's so easy. You can just print it off at home. But for me, what makes it really easy is to get a bunch of those priority mail envelopes because you can use those with the Poshmark priority mail label and then you're not having to buy the supplies for an envelope. You're not having to hold on to a bunch of envelopes you might not be using. Just go to the post office, stock up on like five or however many items you you have worth and then as soon as an item sells you can pull it out package it all up and get it off right away another great thing with the label is that you can just stick it in a mailbox if you see any of the blue like USPS boxes on the side of the road you can just stick your Poshmark package in that and it will get it out right away your buyer gets tracking right away you get tracking right away to see that it's moving um, and you don't have to actually take it into the post office yourself too in case you don't have one nearby you I just love how seamless the whole thing is. And again, for me, I will be listing a ton of items on there. So I hope this video was helpful for you if you are looking for sustainable ways to build up or purge your closet for the fall. Be sure to check out Poshmark and download the app using my link in the description box. And I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.